What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here with the fifth episode of George vs. Robin. Um, this is actually quite a special episode as you can see, because we added in some face cam. Uh, this is actually a, a sort of like bonus round episode, I would say. Um, we both have prepared our own uh, new story, uh, quite a, a big story for us both. And, um, you know, there wasn't like a pre-selected topic, um, you know, which that story has to be rela related to. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a bit random, and um, we we have just prepared uh, both we both have prepared a great story for that. So, um, but first we quickly want to of course um, discuss the results like we always do from the previous episodes. So um, yeah, George, please go ahead and talk about the previous. I one. will. I will. I will. Um, so yeah, last week we talked about shit. What we, okay, we talked about embarrassing moments <laughs> last week, um, and we had 73 people fill in the survey. So thanks a lot for that as usual. And leveling the scores, or the tables, should we say, to two all, um, I managed to win with 40 votes to Robin's 33, which brings it back to a rounded two all overall now. Yeah, are we gonna like keep a overall score or something? No, or? well, we could. I don't know. Who, who, we shouldn't really be doing that, or whatever. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just happy to win one. It's Love still that. like the first few episodes, so we yeah. can still do that. Yeah. Okay, but um, and also we're going to be discussing, seeing as this is, as Robin said, like a different, like a bonus thing, we're going to be talking, like, um, the things that you submitted last time, we'll be talking about those in a future video, because as we said, this is like a special bonus round thing. So we're going to move straight on to the first story, which Robin will do. Okay, so um, my special story comes from high school, or secondary school, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was in, third, in the third grade. And you probably know it, George, but um, you, you probably had to do the same. But we, we had to read, like, a few books every year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm not a person who likes reading. Uh, I think it's very boring. Like, there's a few books that I've read and I enjoyed. But overall, I, I don't enjoy reading books. And it always it was so, you know, I, nobody wanted to read books in a, in a school year. And it was always, like, one of the most boring things in the year. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I still wanted a good grade, of course. I, uh, you know, I wanted to pass the subject, of course. So uh, I just, I figured that I just had to read a book because ultimately we had to make like a summary of the book that we read. Yeah. No, and, okay, yeah. you know, I, I knew that if I didn't read a book, then, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to, uh, you know, like complete that assignment and, uh, you know, show off that I really, uh, you know, read the book. So uh, I just, you know, I just had to read a book. So I, I picked one and. Uh, every night I had been I had been reading like a chapter and you know for like 30 days until I finished it and uh, again I really didn't like to do it but then I made the assignment and uh, I ultimately got a seven out of ten so uh, you know I was happy with the grades of course you know it, it yep. took me a while to finish the book and overall I thought it was worth it I have a, I had a seven out of ten as I said so uh, you know I wasn't disappointed in any way but then my friend who is just as lazy as I am you know and didn't like reading books. Um, he got in, uh, you know, he got an eight out of ten, and then I started like because I knew he was, you know, just as lazy, or maybe even more lazier. So yeah. I was like, I'm gonna read your summary. So I, I picked a summary. I, I started reading it, and it was called um, like uh, the American Dream. That's what it was called. And I was like, what's this? What's this book about? I've never heard of it. And then I started reading, and it started off, and it said, Nico Bellic is a Yugoslavian <laughs> immigrant. <laughs> Who, who travels to America to, to you know, search his luck, uh, uh, you know, there in that country. And I was like, Jesus Christ, he picked the story from GTA 4. And, and he got a higher grade for that. Like, I had been reading this book every night and I got a 7 out of 10, yeah. which, again, I wasn't disappointed by. But then, you know, he just chose the complete opposite way and just picked the story of a, of a game. And he literally made a summary from that. And he got a higher grade yeah. for that. So... Uh, you know, I was actually surprised that, you know, the teacher didn't like check if the, if the book actually existed. Um, but of course she didn't. So I was like, okay, screw it. And I'm never going to read a book anymore. Um, you know, except for like later years where we had to read uh, literature and we had to yeah. like, um, you know, pick from a list. But in those years, in the, in the first few years from high school, we could still pick our own books. So I was like, okay, screw it. I'm never going to read a book anymore. So, uh, you know, three months later when we had to do pretty much the same thing, um, I was like, okay, well, Whatever, and I got a I got a uh, 8.5 out of 10 uh. for my new summary, which was called "The Treasure of El Dorado." So, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and yeah, it was about Nathan Drake. So uh, whatever. That that's pretty much my story. So when you said that for a second, I was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. 
Oh. It's it's funny how she didn't yeah, she like just didn't check think to check these things. Jeez. Yeah. So it was just about uncharted. I think. <laughs> um, yeah. On to mine. Well, um, I do, or I, I think yes, I still do it. I do a Duke of Edinburgh award thing where basically you have to you have to do like a three day walk and like before the walk you have to do all these like extra things like you have to do a certain number of months of like sport and volunteering and stuff like that. And mm. for my voluntary stuff, me and a friend of mine. Uh, Swanders three may as well shout him out uh, with it with his sweaty sweaty afro we, we had to go to like this charity shop and basically like hang clothes up and stuff in the like the shop below and like tag them for them to be taken up to the shop um, and whatever and sold to the customers and and one point um, it was like 20 to 5 and my bus leaves at 5 so I we always have to try and be done before 5 and it was like 20 to 5 I think and I really needed a shit um, so of course, and I do apologize to anyone who throws up at the sign of this story because it's not a pleasant one. Um, I was I was desperate, so I, I went I went to the toilet, which is like again downstairs next to where we're working. Um, I took this almighty great shit, and it was. I'm not going to go into too much detail there. Actually, I don't know what I'm about to. Um, Please don't. No. And then I flushed the toilet. It didn't go down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a point to this. It's not me just being pointlessly horrific. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I flushed the toilet and it didn't go down. And I leaned out the door and said, "Sam, it's not not going down." <laughs> um, so then he came in and and said he wanted to look at it for some reason. I don't know why. But basically, I flushed the toilet like ten more times and nothing was happening. I pulled out a toilet brush and started poking it, trying to get it down. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to say this bit. Just pull the toilet brush out. Oh, fuck. The shit was attached to the toilet brush. <laughs> he walked in again and saw this, and he was like, George, get that off. Like, he said, you have to, like, pull it off with tissue or something. I was like, I'm, I'm not doing that. And then, like, you can understand the pressure. By this point, it's like 10-2, and, like, the woman's going to come down in a minute, and number one, say, why have you not finished the work? Number two, why are you in the toilet? And number three, why does this entire room smell of shit? So, eventually... When it got to five o'clock, she she came down to see what we'd done, and I had to like just hastily run out the door and leave Sam to clear up my shit and finish all the work. Um, but what like this last bit is kind of irrelevant, but kind of funny as why well. I, I just I didn't mean to do this, but just to add to his troubles, like as I walked out the door, I accidentally knocked over his drink, which then spilled all over the floor as well, <laughs> clean up on top of everything else. It's just a pretty stressful, shitty day. I can see that. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, thank you for that story. And then, um, you know, those are basically our stories. Uh, we hope you enjoyed them, of course. You know, as George said, this is like, you know, this is a bonus round. We just had a, had a story of our own that we prepared from, uh, you know, a random topic that we could prepare ourselves. Um, and of course, in the next episode, episode six, which will be up on my channel, I believe, um, we will be like uh, discussing, uh, of course, the, the, the request that you uh, gave to us, like the, the topics that you suggested to us. Um, so, yeah, thanks again. Of course, fill in the survey, um, you know, of who you think uh, should win this episode, which uh, story that you enjoy the most. And if you still have some, you know, suggestions for next episode, then please do so because it really helps us out, of course. And there's always, um, yeah, nice suggestions that we can pick for next episode. So please keep doing that. And then, uh, of course, we will be discussing like earlier results from, uh, from like the, the previous um, episode as well. And then, yeah, please let us know what you thought of this episode. And then that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching, and we hope to see you again in the next episode. And he literally, you know, put that in a summary, like he... Like he... Whoa, what the hell happened? You just stopped talking. I, I thought you weren't there anymore. I, I thought exactly the same. <laughs> you just suddenly stopped. What the hell? I don't know what happened there, but uh, you know where did I? Where could we cut this in? Um, 